Hey there guys, today we'll be checking out the Mac Africa battery tester and analyzer. Alright, let's see what's inside. Alright, so inside we have the user manual, the battery tester itself, two print paper rolls, a negative terminal, and the positive terminal as well as four AA batteries right let's put this thing together right first you want to take off the battery housing cover and insert the four AA batteries. Once you have replaced the cover, we can move on. Right, let's insert the paper roll. You want to insert the paper roll facing towards the LCD screen and turn off the excess. Right, the two terminals at the bottom. One's a three pin connector, one's a two pin connector. The three pin connector goes with the positive and the two pin connector goes with the negative. Right, now that we have it assembled, let's turn it on and see some of the features. Right, you have cold cranking amps, alternator test. Let's check with side. 12 volt, 24 volt. You can test both batteries. Unfortunately, we don't have a car right now, but we'll test it soon. You can look at your cranking amps, 12 volt and 24 volt batteries. Let's see what's in the setup, shall we? Date, display, language, reset, and head. Right, let's take it outside and test it on a car. Right, now that we're outside, let's turn it on and connect it to the battery. First, you put your negative terminal. And then you put the positive terminal. Right, now that we've hooked up, you can clearly see it says battery voltage 12.62 volts. Let's test out cold cranking amps. As you can see, it gives us all the information and we can print it out on the print paper. Alright, so next let's test out the alternator. For this test, we need to have the car turned on and revving at 2000 RPM for 10 seconds. Let's turn the car on, shall we?
Alright, now that the car is on, we can properly test the alternator. As you can see, it's saying that it's charging at 14.24 volts. Now, let's test out the cranking amps. For this test, we need to start the car within the 2 minute allotted time. As you can see, cranking time 0.5 seconds. We can also print the information on the print paper. You can also go into history and see all the tests you have done today. You can also go into one of the tests and reprint the test results.